Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Javier, with The Real Javier Novoa. And I got a question from a client just a few moments ago, and we were discussing this. And the question was, what are the routines or habits, if any, that I should develop in my daily life? And how would I know what routines and habits to adopt, especially in this modality, which teaches that we're not to make effort or at least external effort to get what we want. And so it was a very interesting discussion. And we are going to go into this as we develop the curriculum here at The Real Javier Novoa, uh, where we do apply the principles of philosophy, uh, spirituality, and good business sense, indeed, to business and life. So I just wanted to briefly discuss, first of all, why would we attempt to modify habits? Why would we attempt to acquire new habits? And why would we try to structure our day into routines if it is true that we are attracting or we are making the least effort possible to allow things to come into our lives? And indeed, that's what we do here in our philosophy and methodology. So first of all, when we attempts to acquire, and when we indeed do acquire the state, what we call getting into state of what we want, because in order to get what you want according to the law of assumption, the law of attraction, and the modality which we teach on this channel, the main point is that you have to attain the state of being. So what you have to do is you have to figure out precisely what it is that you want, and then you have to ask yourself, what would the state of feelings, thoughts, because a lot of teachers will say, what would it feel like? But I believe that that misses the nuance, because it's not only feelings and emotions, but it's rather the whole complex of being, uh, state of being, that one would take on if one had that wish or desire that he or she wanted. So you have to ask yourself, and you have to get very clear as to the state which one would be in when one attains what one wants. Then you have to take on and practice that state and wear it like a garment. And so one of the aspects of this, and this is where journaling comes into its own, and we're going to make a series of videos, at least one video, but perhaps a series of videos on journaling, because it's one of the most important points in this program and it's going to help you clarify your thoughts and it's going to help you generate your own answers where you won't need to ask an authority so because you have your own inner authority so what you will ask yourself is a question like if I was a person or if I was the person who indeed had this desire so let us say for example that you want to acquire or open or start a multi-million dollar business. And of course we're going to chunk that down into steps and so on and so forth uh, to make it easier to grasp and to make it easier to take the next step. But you ask yourself, what would a person with that business do? What would his day look like? What would his routine look like? Because oftentimes when we have an ill-conceived desire or a general desire, which is just fine, that's another modality of bringing things into your life, by the way, through the general method. And you can just allow things to happen in your life. I think the people who watch my channel, The Real Javier Novoa here, want something more. They want to be more specific and have their hands in the clay more. And that's the point of this whole program, is to, to have the joy and the fun of being able to actively and specifically create what you want. And we teach you the tools uh, to do that on this channel. So when a person develops more specifically what his desire means, then he is able to basically bring it about with more, specific, with more specificity. So he asks himself, or she asks herself, what would be the rituals, the routines, and the habits of a person who already had this business? And then you could journal into it. You can explore it. Remember, you can't get this wrong, ladies and gentlemen, because at the end of the day, it's all within you. But we'll show you why 
this is very important. The great Boris Berezovsky, who was a, a great um, Russian oligarch and a multi-billionaire who indeed understood and implemented these principles. In fact, a few weeks ago we did a show on his life. He said that basically to the effect of, I'm paraphrasing here, you will not get what you desire until you build sheds for yet unborn cattle. Which means that you have to construct the edifice, at least in your mind, and by taking actions on the outer to receive that, um, that prosperity and abundance that is coming to you by the act of attraction. So, for example, if you say, I want to win uh, the lottery uh, for, let's say, $20 million, but you have no idea where you would keep that money, you have no idea about investing in securities or what they are. You have no idea about treasury bonds. You don't know. You're not going to put $20 million simply in one bank account. So if you don't have all of that fleshed out, of course the universe will flesh it out for you. But it will take longer. You could sit down and flesh it out. You could study, okay, what do people with $20 million do? And that will make it come into your reality much quicker and with much more specificity. So this is why we do this. We're creating a dam or a channel, if you will, into which this abundance can flow. The second reason we're doing this is because of the locus of control. Now the Stoics talk about this. You don't focus on the things you can't control. Only focus upon the things that you do have control over. And you have no control over what others do, over luck, over the outer circumstances. And of course the paradox is, and we talk about paradox a lot on this channel, is that when you focus upon your locus of control, what you can control, you indeed realize that indirectly you control and influence the entire universe. So by creating a daily routine, by creating habits, and by creating rituals, you are focusing and investing your attention on what you can tr uh, control. When you don't do that, you start thinking about why isn't what I want coming faster? What am I doing wrong? And you start second guessing yourself. And this puts resistance on your trail and actually makes the flow of that prosperity come more slowly. So we want to set rituals, we want to set habits, and we want to set routines. So the first set of routines that I recommend are the morning routines. I talked about this on my video of spiritual preparedness. That's basically when you wake up, the first thing you want to do is you want to get into state. You want to get into a positive state of mind and you want to get into the state of what you desire. So you can tell yourself something like, I am. Just when you wake up before you even get out of bed, you say, I am. And that is, as Neville Goddard talked about, personifying that unmodified consciousness. And then from that I am, you have the power to create anything that you wish. And you take it day by day. So then you say, I am, for example, I would say, I am Javier Novoa. And that means I'm consciously coming to awareness of being this person. And I'm choosing to flow into through this personality who is Javier Novoa. And of course, we can go into that in other videos. This deals with my scales of being video, which I made a few weeks ago. Then what you do is you do the Joseph Goddard technique, which is you imagine a few scenes, perhaps two, three, or four scenes, going exactly the way you want them to go before you get out of bed throughout the day. And by the way, when you're still in that sleepy state between awake and asleep, this is the state which is most conducive to creating because your defenses are down and you have a direct line to your subconscious. So imagine a few scenes that you want to happen the way you want them to go. Then after that, you get out of bed, start appreciating. Start getting into that feeling of appreciation. Just simple things like I appreciate the shower. I appreciate the colors of the room. You don't want to think about anything too specific at this point because you're just getting into that state of what we call flow. And then when you get into flow, then you're basically carried throughout your day 
and you can focus more specifically. Indeed, you are basically given to focus, and you focus upon what comes with the flow. So make getting into flow at the very beginning of the day a priority. Then you meditate for at least 15 minutes. And, or or as, and you can do it longer because as Joe Dispenza says, he does not get up from his meditation until he's feeling in love with life. You can meditate and you can visualize your scenes of what you want for the main event, for the main intentions. You can start, either you can picture a very succinct scene of what you want, or you can feel the whole complex of feelings of what it's like to be in that state. And you mentally rehearse that like an athlete. So these are some of the basic routines. Another routine that I'd recommend that Marcus Aurelius and the Stoics recommend, and as I said, we're going to make another series of videos about this, is journal. And you can do it at the end or the beginning of the day. But basically, you want to talk to yourself, you want to contemplate, and you want to flesh out thoughts, and you want to flesh out your intentions and desires, and you want to get them as specific as you can. And the rule of thumb here as Abraham Hicks says, you want to get as specific as you can while you're feeling good. If you start to feel negative emotion or resistance, then you want to back off from that and go general. And then there are other tools in this course that we can teach you that will indirectly penetrate that resistance. Then you want to study the biographies of successful people, if you can, in the field of success that you want to pursue. If you, there, you, you don't have access to biographies, you'll want to interview some people if you can. Either read interviews with them or try to email them and interview them and ask them about their routines. Then you want to slowly implement those routines throughout your day. Also, I'd recommend very highly that you read the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he talks about basically finding those cornerstone habits that will have the most impact. And journaling is going to help you find these habits. Then you try to implement them very slowly with the principle of 1% improvement every day. And you simply try to improve 1%. For example, uh, people talk about if they want to start writing, let's say. Well, some people started with that they couldn't get themselves to sit down and write. So some people said, okay, I'm going to just write one sentence every day for a week. Well, anyone can do that. So you start writing one sentence every day for a week. Then for week two, you can start writing two sentences. And you just simply progressively improve until within a month or two months, you've got the habit that you wanted to have. And this habit spreads to through the um, effects of flow. And you will get into flow when you're present and practicing the habit. It's going to carry you very easily to where you want to go. So we implement routines in order to em embody that state that we want to embody and the things that we, we desire will come to us through that and they'll have a place basically to flow into. Another issue is that belief is a big factor here. And of course we don't teach that you have to force yourself to believe it because once you get into the flow and once things start unfolding you will believe it. But part of having that belief, the proof of that is that you start taking actions that would be taken by a person in that state. If you say that you've attained a state, but you're not taking any actions of the person that's in that state, you need to revise your desire because perhaps it's not your desire. Perhaps it's not that important to you, or perhaps you're doing it not for yourself, for others. And I would recommend watching my video on not caring about what others think to get a deeper explanation of that. Your goals, what we teach in this course, is that you whittle down your goals and your intentions to what you truly desire and what truly is implied by that desire rather than things that are forced from the outside or that perhaps we're doing to show off or to please others. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is just a brief explanation as to why you should have routines, habits, and rituals and why you should set them, and why you should think about them. And we're going to be making more videos explaining this, and how you can actually flesh this all out. But I just wanted to make this video because a subscriber asked me. So if you find value in the material that we present uh, on this channel, please subscribe and like, because that's the way that we get the word out, and we get this message out to the people that need it, and for the people who are indeed seeking it. 
So, we're going to be making a few more videos this weekend. I will see you guys very soon. This is Javier Novoa with much love and much appreciation. Have a great day.